Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hobart Bay Sports Network. I am your host Justin Winter, and today the Washington Huskies take on the Hobart Bay Ones. Both teams with four wins. Yeah, Washington's offense has actually been pretty good. Their defense also pretty stellar. They're number 10 for a reason. Hobart Bay, they're a whole mix of I don't even know what. Washington is led by Austin Joyner on defense who has six assisted tackles and a pick already this season and a pass deflection. I actually expect more. He's very, very solid. Look at that awareness. 99. Coverage like a blanket. Oh my goodness. This man could be deadly. And then Roderick McBride, 203 yards already. Last season he had almost 1,200. Four touchdowns already this season. He's really good. He doesn't have a ton of speed, but he's got good catching. I'd say he's more of a possession receiver, but he's a very good possession receiver. So, and then they also have Brandon Wellington, who has quite a bit already, including one and a half sacks and three pass deflections. Again, just solid Washington. They're going to be a hard team to face on defense. I mean, really hard. Here we are back in Seattle, Washington, where Hobart Bay goes against the Huskies of Washington. It is the rivalry once again. These two teams are tied one to one. And as you look here, the Pac-12 North is actually pretty strong with four teams of four or more wins. Hobart Bay is on the lower end of the top four of the Pac-12 North. And they're four and two, the only team in the division that's not ranked. This is gonna be a fun race to watch, honestly. It's gonna be great, but it starts with this game. This game is absolutely huge. Washington looking for revenge, and they'll see if they can get a good start to that with the coin toss. So here we go. Ooh, a quick decision to take heads by Hobart Bay, and they got it right, so they kick. And Washington, it doesn't really matter which way you're going, if we're being perfectly honest. So here we go. Loser on the kick. And we have kickoff in Seattle, Washington. And watch out, that's Brandon Murphy out there to take it. No, not Brandon, Byron Murphy, sorry. Byron Murphy, and he gets a pretty good return too. So that's a good start for Washington. As out comes Trevor Harris, the new starting quarterback for the Huskies, true freshman. He drops back and finds Thompson, Lance Thompson there on the edge. Now second down and 10 for Washington. Thompson in motion, hand off to Sean McGrew, and he goes up the middle for a gain of eight, making it third down and two. Washington does like to run the ball more than most teams. They do a traditional style. Here's a play action by Harris, finds Stewart, and Stewart cannot get across the first down marker. Now the question, will they go for it? Yes, they will. Washington playing a bit aggressive here in the I formation. And it's a handoff to McGrew, who just gets enough. He dives forward for that first down. And the Huskies continue their drive, albeit slowly, as Harris looks to throw and decides just to run with it. And he has a lot of space before he gets taken down after a gain of nine yards. So Trevor Harris already doing pretty good, I'd say. Third down and one for the Huskies. Hobart Bay has four linemen in there. And it's a speed option, and Trevor Harris does not get rid of it. Michael Wallace on the tackle for loss, and now Washington to kick the field goal. It's up, and it curves right. It curved right, and Hobart Bay gets an opening drive stop. Sort of. Hand off to Trey Regis as he stiff arms forward for a gain of... Seven yards, pretty good start to the game for Trey Regis. This team not known for its traditional run style. But Stupinski does the option here, and he has a lot of space on the right, and he just steps out of bounds after a gain of 15. They do run plenty, but it's mostly QB runs as opposed to running back runs. Stupinski throws, Regis has space, and tried to make a man miss, but that would not get him much. Now William Shepard is in the game. Mr. Pinsky looks to throw and he finds Bubba West. 
I don't know how that got past the defender. I honestly have no idea. That should have been picked off, maybe taken for a touchdown. Instead, Hobart Bay can extend their drive. It's Drupinski throws to the right, and that's caught by Gio Saria, who only had one catch last week. And I'm pretty sure it's for fewer yards than 18, so he's already doing better than last week. And Stupinski keeps it on the option and scores! Touchdown, Hobart Bay! For the record, that was a terrible read. He was supposed to hand that ball off, but the defender just didn't do anything about it. He just cut inside and, and there you go. So Hobart Bay strikes first here against number 10, Washington. As the Huskies hand it off to Sean McGrew, and McGrew stiff arms him in and has a whole lot of space. Oh, okay. I thought he might go. I thought he might go for a touchdown on that one, but no. Instead, Trevor Harris takes a snap and hands it off on a little draw play to Sean McGrew, who continues to gash walk. Uh, sorry, Hobart Bay. Four runs for 51 yards. Oh my goodness. And another drop play, but this time he's taken down in the backfield. Taken down by Nate Link, the absolute legend that is the left end. Left end? Maybe right end. It's hard to tell from this angle. Trevor Harris looks, decides to run, has space, and gets taken down after a gain of eight. So Washington makes it a third down and very manageable. Four yards to go for a first. Hobart Bay only sends two men in pressure, and they still get to him! Wow! Spencer Johnson on the sack! And Hobart Bay leads Washington 7-0 after the first quarter, and Washington's got a fourth and long. So Washington does just decide to punt, and Hobart Bay gets the ball back. And Stupinski will hand that one off to Regis. He gets a good gain of seven yards. Trey Regis is having a better day than normal, I would say. As he gets another carry right up the middle. The old line for Hobart Bay is just doing so good. And then Trey Regis is making good plays too. I mean, right there, he fell forward for like an additional four yards or something. And now Stupinski is just sending everyone downfield as he looks and he gets tripped up. Oh, a loss of five. Washington determined not to let this get too out of hand. Scott Howell there. Now third down and 16. Stupinski again just sending everyone down the field, rolling out to his right again. He has a man! Oh, he had a man wide open. I think that was Bubba West. And now it's first down for Washington after the punts. Man, there was a touchdown waiting there. Instead, it's a handoff to Sean McGrew, and this man is so insane. Are you kidding me? Wow, Stewart in motion again. And Hobart Bay continues to send the blitzes, and that one, that one worked. Doug Glover, the ninth, officially gets the sack, but there was a lot there to help him get that. Third down and ten. It's Trevor Harris. Looks, throws to the right, and that's just thrown out of bounds. He's 3 for 6 today, only 24 yards. So, not the greatest thing. He started off fine, but now he's not doing so well. Second down and 10 for Hobart Bay. As Strupinski looks to throw again, and he rolls out to his right again because he loves to do it. And he gets hit as he throws. And, oh no. He's down again. R.C. Wilson has to come back in. He's just going to hand it off to Regis, and that's not getting it. Well, we had him back for one week and almost a half of a game. Almost a game and a half. Trevor Harris looks to throw instead, decides to run, and he gets enough for another first down before he slides down. And Strupinski is out of the game. Strained quadricep. Oh boy. Harris looking to throw again. Finds Smith. And he goes forward for a first down. Lee Smith for 13. Washington needs... They need to score. Hand off to McGrew up the middle. Again! 
eight more yards. This man is destroying Hobart Bay, averaging eight yards a carry, but Washington is yet to convert a third down. Can they break that streak here? Harris rolls out to his left, throws to absolutely nobody. Okay, Washington will be on the kick again. Here we go, snap, hold, kick is up, and that one is right down the middle. No doubt about it. 7-3, and that will take us to halftime. Hobart Bay ones, once again, they're dealing with Washington pretty well. 7-3, could they get another upset? Ooh, I can't wait to see. So, Hobart Bay, I don't know that uh, their offense will be able to do anything from now on. Yes, they have been able to make the fullback a quarterback just running the ball every single time work. They have been able to make that work before. But that was against Arizona and Cincinnati. Those were not prime defenses. Washington is a prime defense. They are very good. I'm not sure if that Hobart Bay could pull it off. I don't think they can. If Hobart Bay is going to win this game, their defense is going to have to play just as stellar as they already have. And as you see, Hobart Bay, they only got 88 yards total. Washington has almost that same amount just on the ground. And the passing game is 58 as well. The only thing that Hobart Bay dominates in right now is time of possession. They're not dominating by nearly as much as they used to. They need to dominate that even more in the second half and put up maybe a field goal. If they get a field goal, I think they can force overtime, provided the defense stays true to how they have been playing. But I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's going to have to be one heck of a defensive performance for Hobart Bay to pull off yet another upset here in the second half. So here we go to start off the second half. Kicking off to Hobart Bay. They do get the ball to start off the second half. That's very good. Dean Wen takes it at the goal line. Cuts left and has a bit of space there. Stiff arms forward and gets out to about the 38-yard line. It's a pretty good way to start off the third quarter. Is here we go. Trey R.C. Wilson, sorry, hands off to Regis, who gets enough for another first down. It's just going to be all on the ground from here on out. That's what it's going to be. Here we go. Fakes the handoff and decides to keep it himself. As R.C. Wilson runs for another first down. The man can run. I mean, this guy can absolutely run. High formation, toss right, Regis. No, that, that's just not going to fly. Absolutely not. Tevis Bartlett right there. It's not going to work. Third and 15, they're going to need something crazy here. And it's a handoff to Regis, who cuts left. Yeah, it's a decent gain. Fourth down and seven, though. Do you punt? They're not punting. Wow, this is... Handoff to Regis, cuts left. And he got the first down. Are you kidding me? A read option on fourth and seven, and they still get the first down. This team fakes the handoff here as R.C. Wilson gets another first down. Huh? What is with this game plan? I mean, seriously, they're able to do it so well. Handoff to Regis up the middle. Seven more yards. They're getting good, solid chunks here. My goodness. Third down and two. And off to Regis up the middle. Another first down. There's no arguing results. They sure do know how to run the ball. And look at that. They've eaten up almost the entire quarter. The toss right to Regis on the outside. Touchdown, Hobart Bay. Okay then. Okay then, Hobart Bay is about is going up by two possessions. It's going to be 14-3 after the extra point, and they used up a ton of clock. So Washington, their offense needs to get something going right now. It's Trevor Harris throws intercepted by Ryan Lewis. Oh my goodness, that could be a game-changing play. Wow. Hobart Bay just got the ball right back. Hand off to Regis up the middle. 
falls forward. Eight more yards. Still getting those solid chunks. Hand off again. Regis, another first down. 30 seconds left in the quarter, and that will just end it. The Hobart Bay Ones lead the number 10 Washington Huskies by 11 points, and they have the ball going into the third quarter. Watch out, everybody. An upset could very well happen once again. Here we go. Second down and five for Hobart Bay. Hand off Regis up the middle. Oh my goodness. How do they get all these good runs? They never do this when they actually pass the ball, but when they only run the ball, it sometimes it somehow works. Fakes the handoff. Wilson pitches to Saria, and Geo Saria goes in for a touchdown, a running touchdown, nonetheless. And that will stretch the lead to three possessions. Hobart Bay is insane. 18-point lead for the ones. Washington has seven minutes to get three touchdowns. Or at least three scores. Pass there to Roderick McBride. That's the first time I've called his name today. 12 yards for Washington's star wide receiver. Second down and four for the Huskies. As Trevor Harris looks for someone. Throws it to the right. Caught by Smith. <laughs> Lee Smith gets past him and then falls forward for 15 more yards. Washington finally starting to drive down the field. It's about darn time. It's Trevor Harris looking again. Decides to run it himself. And has space. And wow! Oh, he could have he could have run more. He shouldn't have slid. He could have gone a lot farther than that. But still, Washington finally showing the offense that we thought they'd have. It's a handoff to Sean McGrew. Goes up the middle. Eight more yards. I mean, I'm surprised Washington hasn't done better on offense, honestly. I would have expected a lot more from him. Harris drops back to throw and decides to run it with it himself and he scores for Washington. The Huskies are finally, or they finally have a touchdown on the board. And I think they'll probably go for two and they will to make this a 10 point game. Here we go, Lance Thompson in motion. Trevor Harris drops back to throw, finds Stewart, but he does not get away from the swarm of ones. And now a quick studio update as the Texas Tech Red Raiders defeat the number 12 Texas Longhorns, who were 6-1. So Texas was looking at, you know, maybe a run at the playoff, but not anymore. The Red Raiders and that one in Hobart Bay. They got four and a half minutes to kill. Hand off on the counter, Regis up the middle, and he gets another first down. This man, when you feed him, boy, does he go off. Here we go. Fakes the handoff, West out there for the pitch, and he'll take the pitch, and he's got a lot of speed there, but he gets run down. Just barely, just barely. Hobart Bay is third down and nine now. R.C. Wilson will keep it himself. He's got space, but they marked him short. Wow, and now Hobart Bay is going with a very conservative move and kicking the field goal. Missouri's kick is up, and it's good. Makes it a 15-point game. Washington has under two minutes left. Third down and 10. Trevor Harris is going to need something. Throws, caught by Roderick McBride. In the foot race, breaks the tackle. One man breaks his. Whoa, Roderick McBride just beasting out. Breaking them tackles. Wow. Third down and 10 again. As Trevor Harris looks for a screen. That's caught by Sean McGrew, but he is tackled immediately. That will not fly. And now it's fourth down and 14, just under a minute left. This has to be. A touchdown. Trevor Harris looking. Throws to the back of the end zone. Touchdown! Roger McBride right there for the Huskies. Well, he wasn't much in the early game, but here in the late game, he is pulling through for Washington as the Huskies are just trying to keep their hopes alive. And they'll go for two if they get this, then it's just a one-score game. Here we go. 
Trevor Harris looking, but he had no time. Pat Lilly right there to take him down. And Washington, they need two scores. They still need two scores with 48 seconds left. That will be taken by Gio Saria, and he will get taken down at the 40-yard line. So Hobart Bay, first down, wins it. They got third down and five. Washington's been very good about keeping them from getting that first down. Handoff, Regis. No, they stopped him short. 38 seconds left. If they get one yard, they could... No, they'll kick a field goal instead. Zur's kick is up, and that one again right down the middle. So now it's a 12-point game. Washington now needs two touchdowns. 30 seconds left for Washington to get two touchdowns. Harris drops back. And airs it out deep. That's Roderick McBride. No, that's Lance Thompson. Sorry. Lance Thompson for 41. All of a sudden, the Huskies are able to bomb it deep without any problem. But 20 seconds are left. Harris looking. And has all day. Throws. Caught. Derek Sherman goes out at the one-yard line. First and goal, Washington. 13 seconds left. Harris drops back. Throws. Caught. And that's Derek Sherman finishing what he started on that last catch. He gets the touchdown. 10 seconds left. Washington again going for the onside. This kick is recovered by Victor Cross. And he just falls down, not willing to to give Washington even the slightest chance to one game. Ladies and gentlemen, Hobart Bay just did it again. Once again, the Hobart Bay ones go into Seattle, Washington and defeat, they upset Washington. Last year, Washington was number two. This year, Washington was number 10. And boy, Hobart Bay sure does love to play spoiler now, don't they? Wow. The ones pull it off. They almost gave up a pretty big comeback there at the end, but they they held on. They held on. They managed to do that. It's Trevor Harris having a tough day. Trey Regis, 112 yards on the ground and a touchdown. I'd say that this time he actually deserves it. Wow. Hobart Bay just did it again, and let me, let me remind you, if Washington had made the field goal on their first drive, that's another three points. If they made that, they probably don't go for two those two times, so that's another two points. The game ended a five-point differential. It is very possible that because of that missed field goal at the beginning, Hobart Bay wound up winning and we didn't go to overtime. Just think about that. But there's a lot more to think about. You know what they are? Stuff I'll discuss in the post-game show. You better be there. Well, Zafir Strapinski went 3 for 8, 31 yards before he got injured. R.C. Wilson actually went 2 for 3, but he only got 2 yards, so that's why you don't see anything. Trey Regis, 112 yards on the ground and a touchdown. A lot of people got carries today. R.C. Wilson, 37 yards. Bubba West had 26 yards. Trubinski had 21 yards. And the game's first touchdown. And Gio Saria had that one touchdown to extend the lead. The Williams Shepard of 4 yards. Receiving, obviously not a lot since we stopped throwing the ball around the end of the first half. So, yeah, that, there's not a lot there. On the defensive end, Ryan Lewis and Tyler Smith and Doug Glover the ninth all had four tackles. One tackle for loss for Lewis and Glover, but Ryan Lewis had the pick. That was the defensive play of the game, without a shadow of a doubt. And then Loser went two for two on field goals, including a 47-yarder. And Randall Taylor... One for two. That field goal turned out to be pretty, pretty bad miss. Brandon Wellington with six tackles, as well as Kyle Barnes. However, Brandon Wellington had all those on the receiving yard. Uh, Roderick McBride, 91 yards on three catches, all of them in the last like five minutes of the game. Lance Thompson, 60 yards. Sherman, 48 yards, and two touchdowns actually, which I find interesting. Lee Smith with 28 yards. Andre Bocelli only had 11 yards. That's interesting. 
Sean McGrew had 80 yards on the ground on 10 carries. That's pretty good. And Trevor Harris had 46 yards and a touchdown. Yeah, they should have ran McGrew more. He was doing so good. And then Trevor Harris went 16 for 26. 235 yards, 3 touchdowns, and a pick. So not a terrible day, actually. But Hobart Bay winds up winning. Look at that. Washington had 19 of the 22 points of the Huskies came in the final quarter. But next week, Hobart Bay, they get to return to Alaska and face the other team from Washington, the Washington State Cougars, who are doing nowhere near as well as Hobart Bay. I hope to see you there, but until then, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and have a nice day.